All right, here it is. This is the uh, plane Eddie Hansen designed last February. I think he flew it up here at the Dells just a little bit and had a bad rudder servo in it. And I uh, didn't get to see it. I didn't get to fly it then. And uh, since then, he, he uh, when he headed back, I guess maybe it was around Christmas time, when he headed back, he went ahead and left it here. And here, just recently, he's built a brand new version of this thing, which is quite a bit smaller maybe two-thirds of this wing uh, very similar design it's got huge, his has got huge flaps just like this one big ailerons, you can see the ailerons here and the flaps big rudder elevator, doesn't weigh anything, it's super light super super light and I've been working on it yesterday today I had to totally rebuild underneath the wing here I've taken all the servos out so all the covering from wingtip all the way in was all removed and so I put two servos in and all the wiring and recover them in there so anyway that's looking better just stuck a set of wheels on here tonight you're gonna have to gonna have to get those wheel cut some wheel colors or something on those had to shim out the motor mount for the motor I put in it uh, with bolts with it almost inch and a quarter out to get it onto the firewall I do have a new uh, cow coming from Horizon it's just a a cub cow. Uh, got that coming today. I'll be, but I'll be able to fly it like this. I got a little glue on it. I'll put some fiberglass cloth on the inside. Got a great big huge tail wheel back there. Uh, he's got a bunch of the decals from the extreme flight. And here's one of the repair spots. I had to apply a piece of bolts with underneath the wing there. And I didn't have the right color. So I used just whatever white I had and then put a DX8 decal on top. So uh, anyway. Hopefully I had this thing, you got Friday, Saturday, and Sunday off. So my goal is to get this thing ready to fly for the weekend. Yeah, if you happen to see this video uh, this weekend and, and I'm out there with it, to come over here and I'll be glad to let you fly it if I got her done. So it's, it's a super, super easy plane to fly. It just floats and you can turn around on a dime. So uh, this, would be, this would be a fantastic model to put a, make a kit out of. Uh, for people that just like to fly low and slow and turn around on a dime, so uh, Unbelievable model. I've never seen anything like it. It's kind of built like an old-time free flight I think Eddie got that maybe from his granddad who's in the modeling back in the 30s and 40s I think, I think he said he even worked for McCoy who, who's a famous uh, control line engine at least in, that I'm aware of anyway for when the time I was flying control line Made a McCoy 35 that was very, very popular. I think it retailed for like 595. It seemed like a lot of money back in the 50s and 60s. But uh, anyway, so hopefully I'm going to go to a club meeting tomorrow night. And uh, I'll have Thursday night to complete it. I just have to put two more servos in back here and uh, stuff the receiver in here and a uh, speed control. Got to plug it in the motor and uh, recover this side. There is a big there is a big hatch over here. You can kind of see it back in here. There's a big, big square hatch there. So once I get everything in, I'll recover this side here, and uh, we'll get into it from the other side. From around. It's got a battery box down here. That little black box there. So anyway, should be a lot of fun to fly. Hopefully, it's a nice weekend and not too much wind. And I'll let everybody get a chance to fly this thing. It's just a Phenomenal airplane, phenomenal. Uh, doesn't get too heavy, I might even put a stabilizer in, who knows. Anyway, so hopefully I'll get it. I think we're going to quit for tonight, and I'll start working back on it Thursday night. Bye.